we're all choking him this season because Danny's always farting. And oh my God, literally. And I was like, I can smell a Cornish pasty. And then I was like savoring it all. And then turned around, absolutely no one eating a Cornish pasty. <laughs> Basically, it's turned fire. And that is what the smell like. Daddy Bid's fart smell like Cornish pasta. <laughs>Hello, Lafille. Welcome to the Drag Race Yearbook. How are you, Bab? Oh my God, I'm so excited to be in the yearbook. Hi, I love you, Yshe. I love you too. Well, Lafille, today we're going to be having a little kiki about your time on Drag Race UK season four. And I'll also be asking you to nominate your fellow queens in our juicy yearbook categories. Yes, the only rule is you can't nominate yourself. Got it? Okay, noted. Category is Biggest Drama Queen. Oh, oh my God, it would have to be Dakota. Like literally every, a croissant was a drama. Uh, <laughs> the tea might be too hot. Literally everything was the biggest drama. <laughs> Dakota, okay, we see you girl. Well, the drama, last week Baby decided to eliminate herself so she could go home and look after her mental health. Did you have any sense that, that Baby was going to do that beforehand? Do you know what? I think, yeah, we, me and Baby and we we were having like a tough week, especially because our week in the improv challenge as well was like quite a tough one for us. And I think we were both on this sort of similar mentality and we, we would speak about it and like, what can we do? And um, so yes, but I, did, but I still didn't think that Baby would actually voice it and say, I'm going to go. And I think that's the thing I was really upset about. I didn't know whether or not um, she would get it later or if she wanted to just gung-ho do it. And I'm just super proud that she was like, no, I've had, I'm, I'm good. I've had my time. And it's like when you've gone out for a, a drink at night, right? And it's like everyone else is trying to stay the party, but you're going, no, I've had my drink and I'm good. I have, I have my fun and I'm going to go. And yeah. I think that was a really strong decision. And Absolutely. I'm so she did it. Absolutely. And we all support Baby. We love Baby. Baby, we love you! Baby, we love you so much. Oh! Well, there seems to be a very dry drama free season well for what we've seen on the cameras um why do you think that is you bonded all so well yeah well it's a really tight cast and i think we all are so different um and it's been really nice that we've all come from different angles we sort of respect each other's past as well as well as like what strengths are and everything and and for me like i'm always i love like group dynamics and i'm always like never talk over anyone i'm trying not to be shady like i'm always thinking wwkd what would kylie do <laughs> like i just like keep it cool and classy and i i'm there to have a good time i'm not there to create shade or like i'm i'm quite humble i don't brag i'm like i literally i'm just trying to be there to enjoy the experience and and i think that, that harmonious atmosphere is, is the way yeah, that i want absolutely to absolutely oh she's coming in for prom queen this year baby okay category is Shadiest queen. The shadiest person on set on film always is Danny. Danny's always got the Danny's brain works at like 50 miles. <laughs> only 50 miles an hour? Maybe, maybe more. <laughs> like sure. there's always a quick whip. So it's like if you're wanting to say something, then Danny's already said something. <laughs> which is like, and it's always gonna be a shady moment. But it's hilarious, it's fun. And then behind the scenes, oh there's a few more. <laughs> oh, like who? <laughs> or do they have any shady moments if you don't want to uh, spill the beans? Oh my god, do there have any shady moments? Mm. Uh, no, I can't spill no beans. Behind oh, the fail, baby! Listen, <laughs> don't worry, I'll get the goss, do you know what I mean? Everyone you else. You probably can. already know it. Your ears are so to the grapevine that you've probably got all that grape juice all over you. Me? What do you... Oh, LaPhil, I could never! <laughs> well, this week's challenge was the Snatch Game! And you had two potential characters. You had Marie Kondo and then you had Posh Spice. And now we love RuPaul, we love Ru, but she loves to mess with you when it comes to Snatch Game. Did she try that with you in the workroom? Or did she try and push, like, one character between the two, what was going on? Give me the tea. Yeah, the tea. I mean, it was suggested that I should do a posh spice with a Chinese accent, because <laughs> that's what I'd be good at. <laughs> and, I, and, and, and because there's that mantra, make Rula, I was like, I can't think about it. 
And then I thought about it and I was like, no. <laughs> was yeah. Like, no. yeah. And I wanted to spark joy. That's all I've ever wanted to do. So Mari has that thing and I wanted Asian representation on this game. And because it's so important, Snatch Game has been the game where literally every Asian person has left. <laughs> so I was like, I need to be able to bring that representation to, to here and actually just have fun with her. But yeah. The difficult thing with marrying the world of tidying with uh, with a dance cha cha <laughs> like thing, yeah. I was like, how is that going to intertwine? Yeah. Oh. yeah, and especially with that cast, the messy cast, the messy cast. Well, I'm sure most people would have been nervous before Snatch Game. Do you know what I mean? There's been so many iconic Snatch Game moments. What was it like filming it? And why did you do it on stage? <laughs> <laughs> We, 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 do you know what? When we watch it, it's always like, it's so funny because all the answers are putting them in between. But, and then like, when we're doing it, it's literally, it's like a gunfire round. It's like, you, you, you. And I'm like, oh my God, trying to think of my feet. And as Mary as well, as Mary Kondo, right? Mm. Doing all that. Cele celebrity comedy improv is not something I've ever studied. <laughs> it's not anything I've ever done, really. And it's its own challenge. Like, it's its own thing. It's not the thing that I was going in to do uh, on Drag Race, but I was like, well, wow, let's just go do it anyway and have fun. And yeah, talking about putting it on the stage, I actually loved it on the main stage. It made it feel like an actual show mm. um, and and not like a not like the previous one so it mixes things up a little okay okay we'll hear that RuPaul's Drag Race keep it on the main stage every year oh, it looks great there was so much hype around the snatch game does it sort of become like impossible for queens to live up to this hype is it like ever that good now we've had like sort of so many American seasons and they do so great each year sort of like becomes its own worst enemy, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Did you feel yeah. that going into it? But also as a viewer, like, I think the ones that I enjoyed, like previously, were things which were like, I really enjoyed tea and coffee doing Mel B. When they asked me, I was like, the memorable moments of a Snatch Game, I was like, that one, because I love like a bit of quirky things, when, when things don't go well, because that to me is like really interesting to watch, like how people, work in different challenges because we've all got different strengths yeah. so snatch game is a very specific niche of like the drag world that you have to try and do and it's really nice to sort of see how people cope with it who they choose mm -hmm. um and how it gets shown like it's all fascinating and as a spectator mm -hmm. i love it it is a defining epic episode and i'm so happy to have been able to get onto that episode um and then go <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you made it, you made it. Category is best look. Oh, of the episode. Oh, Dakota. I, that style is after my own heart. I love stuff like that. I love Valentino. I love drama, fabric, drapery. This is all stuff which is in my, in my boathouse. It's, yeah, gorgeous. Stunning, mm. beautiful. Love, love Dakota. Yes, baby. So, look, oh, baby, you brought the camp to the runway all the time. I was living the plug holes look, the Naomi Campbell doing little duty. I was living iconic. What was your favorite look? Every every runway was a piece of my heart, why she? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> my between my babies. And every week there was a different element of my or an aspect of my humor or my personality that I want to showcase. So it was it's hard to like pick a favorite. Um, I might have to say then the favorite are the ones that you haven't seen, so you have to keep an eye on my socials so you can see them. <laughs> I like, I like what you did there. Wow. Keep an eye out for the film. Well, okay. Yes. Unfortunately, the look this week didn't save you from the bottom two. And in that lip sync, you threw everything in there, baby. Even the kitchen sink. What was your like analysis of the lip sync watching it back? Well, so we're doing it, because what I wanted to channel was a sense of fun. Like, it's a Spice Girl song. I wanted a pure joy. Oh my God. I think as soon as either Sminty or myself step on that runway with 12 inch platforms, Rue's like, you're lip syncing. <laughs> so that's I'm what I'm like, coming off. I don't know how you did it in that, in those heels. I was like, so jokes. And that's the thing, because I was like, I wanted to make an aspect of everything and like a little narrative. So that's me in a field. So I'm getting yeah. off my shoe and all those leaves and branches and twigs and grass all fall out and everything. A bit Sasha Bellori, like getting all that out. So yeah, it was really good to sort of have that narrative and that performance. And and, and, and wait, 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 wait. Yes, baby! 
Organzonography. Everybody's like lip syncing for their life. And there's the feel like, I've got a story to tell you. So everyone take a seat. <laughs> I love that, baby. Well, I'm like, if you're going to give me two extra minutes of screen time, babes, because I haven't had that much, so I'm going to take <laughs> it. You cannot edit me out. Um, I love Phil Stan for life. Baby, you've been an icon before the show, and now you're a bigger icon. You toured the world with Mel C. But I want to know, does she know that you went home to a Spice Girl song in front of Mel B? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we can't tell people secrets, even if they are Mel C. I'm sorry, Ooh. Mel. But now, hopefully you watched it last night and you can appreciate it. <laughs> Michelle is around on a chopper, just outside, just like making sure <laughs> you're all keeping your mouth stum. I'm very good. My mouths are always sealed, which is why I haven't had much action for the last six months. <laughs> LaFell! This is a family pro. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's really not. Category is Class Clown. Oh my god. I I think the class clown would have been. Do you know what? Sminty. I loved having like like literally Sminty's energy is like <laughs> like everything was hilarious. Everything can be hilarious. And I think, yeah, Sminty talks a lot of shit. So I think, like, do, do you know those things outside the cars and they're just like that that's minty I, the blue fabric ah! <laughs> do you have any like favorite moments on set with the cast or some like backstage funny moments i remember Theresa may was like talking about how she's a choke on <laughs> just like on set and i was like babes are you okay let me know some experiences babe. yeah so the backstage Theresa choking then we're all choking in this season because danny's always farting and oh my god literally <laughs> the air is thick oh, ah! <laughs> I love you, Danny. No, I, I don't want to be in a room with Danny's farts. I can only imagine. I can oh my only God, imagine. It reminds me one time, like, I was sat on the bus to White Rose Shopping Centre in Leeds, and I was, like, on the top deck, and I was like, I can smell a Cornish pasty, and I thought someone was eating, and then I was, like, savouring it all, and then turned around. Absolutely no one eating a Cornish pasty. <laughs> Basically, it's turned and fires. And that is what the smells are like sometimes on set. It was like. Well, Daddy bitch farts smell like Cornish pasty. <laughs> ah! Iconic! Oh, Danny, honestly. And, and you know what? I'm not surprised either. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Category is. Papa's Prom Queen. Who's been your best Judy this season, babes? Oh, my best, well, my best Judy is always just May. And like, I love just May. I was so sad when she left in episode one, because then I felt all alone. But the rest is like, because I worked with just May for years. like in Yeah, season. yes, Steve the Pink Queen. Yeah. Yes, sisters. Stop right now. Was she annoyed that you had to do it? Yeah, she was like, I can't believe they got the Spice Girl after I left. And she's like, you can't use that stop song on your life sense, because it's mine. <laughs> Well, oh, little, I've done a cover of it anyway for my social. Oh, <laughs> May is coming for you. She's coming. But yeah. we love May. We do. We love our chess. Literally, I love May the bits. So, yeah. So, before you go, last episode, Sminty gave us a question to ask you this week. And here's what she said What's your favorite thing about me? <laughs> she was being very selfish when she asked the question. <laughs> favorite thing? How many bottles of fake tan she's got? No. <laughs> well, she tried to sabotage us. Do you remember when, like, um, I can't remember which one it was. She had latex leggings, right? Really? And, and gloves. And just needed to lube herself up completely. And we'd do it just on the steps just before the runway. So literally, as soon as we then all went on, it's like slippery, slippery, slippery. And it's like, sabotage! Sminty! Sminty, sminty, sminty. Sminty is always prepared with lube and bottles of... What? Yeah, I was queen of the sabotage to ask Minty. Well, LaPhil, it's your turn to ask a question about the eliminated queen. But don't give any spoilers, no spoilers at all. Any question for the next eliminated queen. Plug, I've got a new EP out today called La Philosophical. And I would like to ask, what mantra would you add to La Philosophical? Any feel-good things, any proverbs? Yeah, add them. Okay, baby. Okay, well, the next queen, I hope they're, I hope they're watching and they're thinking about it. Well, LaPhil, all we need from you is a yearbook quote, and it can be absolutely anything, something to remember you by. Oh, oh, oh. 
Now take this wig and shove it up your Hey, she's from Brig House. Hey, she's mighty, mighty. Yes. Well, LaVille, it's been a pleasure. I've been such a fan of your work since day dot. I can't wait to see what else you do now. This is it, babes. You're a drag race girl. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. I was like, I'd love getting eliminated so I could come chat to you. James, yo, stop it. You know what? You just say that. You just say that. I'll slip you a tenner later. Don't worry. It's all right. It's in I the... think it was actually a hundred. Yeah, excuse me. I ain't getting track based money. Thank you very I got much. The, text. <laughs> the receipts. Well, I love you. Take care. I can't wait to see you in the future, man. Love you. Bye. Bye.